under the traffic lights. Cliff notes from the past week. What a week, what a ride it's been, huh? Mm -hmm. Very busy. Very busy. That's what we do. We work for the people. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm just a little sad. Before tourney time, I shouldn't be. Because we lost quite a few warriors. We did. And I want them to be recognized and know that we're still thinking of them. Praying for them. And fighting for them. So, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Let's see who we've lost again. Owen Gray. My little man. My scorekeeper. Notice the hanging foot. The, that made me almost throw up when I saw the picture. Should I just hang it there? Yeah, I thought it was cool. I'm not gonna what? Lie. That is cool. He lost his foot. Well, no, the picture. Oh, uh, your picture or the actual picture? The actual oh. picture. Oof. You can see the tibia, the fibula, and everything. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know what? You know how they always say you can't see the ball, ball, ball behind, behind. Mm -hmm. and someone's like, like, hey, your foot's behind. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, we love you, buddy. You get better because you're a hell of a player. My teammate. And Drew Daly. <laughs> Those are crutches. It looks like a Superman cape, but they're crutches. And then a little blue cast. He went sledding on a stick, essentially. Is that what happened? Yeah. He Ooh. lost his footing, yeah. And bad things happened from there. And it happened when he was with Bush Lighting, not with the bandits. So, Brian Adams, you actually owe me for his doctor bill. I want people to write me and, or like comment. Does this actually look like Andrew? Like I went off of a Facebook picture. And and that was pretty sweet. And you know what's great about, the, or not good about the injury, but he's probably happy to because now he has a whole new leg to tattoo. You know, because I'm sure he's running out of space. Oh, on the cast? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the cast only lasts like six weeks. Oh. But then he'll get a new one and then you can tattoo that one. Bless you, Andrew. I miss you. We love you, buddy. Who the hell we got here? Oh, my little junior deck player, Nathan Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, he lost an eye. This year, he lost a toe right under Oops. the boards. Go ahead. I don't even know it was the right foot. But I there's don't know. a painful toe. He got viciously put into the boards and lost his toe. Toe got stuck under the board, yeah. didn't it? And then he got pushed. Right. So now he lives the life of going to Las Vegas every few weeks to play poker at high end resorts instead of playing dick. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Yeah. I pray for you. Good thing I got roster transactions because that was two in a row on my team. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> How about Ryan Gunter? <laughs> I tried her, so hard, Ryan. I'm sorry. Tore her ACL dancing, right? Is that my understanding? It wasn't a dead injury? So what I heard is that her boyfriend was playing in a band. Donnie. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And she was wearing high heels and I think dancing to the music and somehow crashed and burned right there in the bar. I imagine a song like this oh, God. where they were in the club. And then kids, and Don was like, "Oh yeah, let's go, Ryan!" And then all of a sudden, he like, yeah, he pushed her and fell down. But he was playing in the band. Well, sometimes they go out to the crowd. Sure. <laughs> sure he push her. <laughs> well, an accident where he just. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? He's twerking. She was twerking the wrong way. In high she, heels. Yeah, and she twerked twerk yourself to an ACL injury. So when one Gunter goes down, <laughs> the other one has to come. The other one goes down, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Reagan <Mark>. Gunter. <laughs> oh, you just caught that, see? Oh my God. Can we point out the white claw, the first aid bag, because she uh -huh. always has a first aid bag. Yeah. Her shirt yeah. says hockey mom. Yeah. And she's got her little tortoise shell cat eye glasses. And says, let's go boys. They tore the opposite legs. I know. I'm sorry. I couldn't remember who tore which. So you both got the left leg in the pictures. But I'm sorry. She got injured last year too, and now this year it sucks. Yeah. She's a good player.
but she's a very supportive of her teams and she'll still be around so yep uh, both of you gunters get better huh oh no my camera broke down almost uh, just like my career dylan idol deck generals typically that's his home franchise i know he's with the yetis this year He's got hip issues at the ripe age of like 20 something. Yeah. Dylan, I just have to say, go for some, some physical therapy. You walk on your tiptoes, that's going to hurt your hips. Those hips don't lie. <laughs> Speaking of hips, hey, don't, wait. yeah. Okay, so profile picture, he was singing. So I put a little microphone in his hands. And then instead of his plaid shirt, I put him in a Deck General's jersey. He is the songbird of our generation. He well, is. not ours. We're older than him. But yeah. I hope he could sing at tourney, him or Little Dwyer, the national anthem. I'm so sorry, Dylan. Yeah, he, hips don't lie, just like Shakir. You see, Shakir, Shakir might go to jail for tax evasion. What? Yeah. Eight years. Eight years? Oh You're up gosh. on the Shakir news, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Hate to share a cell with her, huh? That'd be tough. Yeah, I'm sure you'd hate that. <laughs> and our final one. My favorite. Jeff the Ref Bixby. <laughs> when you name rhymes with ref, you just know you're the yeah. man, right? Yeah. Do you remember Jeff the Ref? I do not. But Nobody I've heard does. Stories. He lasted one game oh. in D6, his first game, <laughs> and did not go up to the standards of QC deck, I, evidently. So not exactly Jeff the Ref. I, I think he was told out of that game he could take some time off. and Who knew QC deck had standards? We had standards, this, so evidently, but... Well, if you call a penalty and then say, oh, oh never mind, <laughs> that I mean, might get you fired. <laughs> well, I, mean, I don't think he's fired. I think he was just politely uh, told to maybe work on his craft. Politely excused. Politely excused. Yes. But I was happy he always wore his helmet. That kept him safe out there. Maybe we give him a job in the trailer where he can wear his helmet or something. That'd be cool. Jeff the Ref... You will be missed. You're an inspiration to all of us. Maybe he could come back to rep like the D1 National Tournament Championship or something. Oh, <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. So, just, yeah, to everybody we lost. I miss you. I'm thinking of you. God bless. You can go and flip the lights back on there. Thank you. So what a week it's been, what a whirlwind, eh? It has been, yep. We started down in downtown Davenport at uh, Edwards Creative with uh, Mitch awesome. Seeper. What'd no, you Nelson Creative. Nelson Creative, Jesus. <laughs> what did you take away from that trip um, with Mitch? That I would like to have some events in that place. That's what I took away. Mitch talked about playing soccer in the past. Now I wish I would ask more questions. A better interviewer probably would have. Probably. And I probably made him uncomfortable talking about his muscles. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. <laughs> that was awkward, but it is what he it is. He didn't mention traveling the world and the country playing soccer until after we were done. Yeah, filming. I know. It's like Fordyce being, what, a beer, beer pong champion? Yeah. I'm a terrible researcher and interviewer. No, you're good. No, I'm not. Then we made our way that same day after... Uh, downtown Danford over to the old deck trailer because I hadn't seen Crow Creek in like 12 hours <laughs> to visit our friends Mr. Albie and Mr. Nick Levesque. What was your takeaway there for a long interview? I enjoyed it. I liked hearing more of the back behind the scenes stuff that goes on. Yeah, I was happy to yeah. explain the rankings. Yes, that was my biggest question. Oh, I think hopefully a lot of people's questions got answered that maybe haven't been or so. Mm -hmm. I appreciate his time. I know he's busy and he's busy yeah. right now going to the airport to pick up players. So Enjoy the videos. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and then, uh, see, we woke up the next day, Sunday morning, and Mr. Albie was here a little after brunch. Yep. What was your takeaway from seeing our good friend and former co-host? Oh, I always enjoy Evan Shepard. Yeah. He's a good kid. He's my favorite. Yep. Yeah, he had a lot of good insight and then some of these players like he always does. And he's mm -hmm. humble and... And I like how he knows guys literally at every single level. So he's got depth. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah, no. He brought a lot of knowledge. So... Mm -hmm. Always good to have our friend Mr. Albie in the house. Yep. Yeah, good luck at Tug Fest this weekend, eh? And then was uh, the same day we went over to visit a bunch of clowns in Rock Island <laughs> at the comic book shop. Tim's That's Corner always comics. an adventure. See, we had Ashton, we had Phil Bittner, Lee, Anakin, Jared, and Missy. Yes. And that's quite the list there. Yes. What was your takeaway, if any, from that? <laughs> uh, that we we should have been the designated drivers. That was probably our biggest takeaway. Huh? There was a lot of whiskey going around. Yeah. A lot of gas being blown. <coughs> so. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> uh, it was nice to have Missy there for a while. So another girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I could hear you blabbing back there, probably making fun of all of us. Uh, what was my takeaway from there? Boy. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that Yeti's Devil's Bet. Like, I have no dog mm. in that fight. What did they ever decide on for the final? I think Yeti's goes, if Yeti's wins, their uniform goes in the shop for like a I month. I thought that was mixed. Because that was like the first one, and they're like, ah, we need something no, better than that. I think they finalized on that, and then oh, okay. if uh, Devils win, then the Yetis are going to be out in the street, essentially, for an hour. Spinning sides. Spinning sides. sides. Okay. Yeah, yeah, not free hot pizza, it's comics or something, so. Yep. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> we'll drive by ten times during I the will. <laughs> if there's signs spinning out there, I will be out there filming that shit. We'll get it sure. on camera. We'll get pictures. We'll share. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. So that's interesting. I love those little bets. But they're all great guys. I'm glad they were all able to come down and spend some time with us. I uh, made it fun. And all joking, you know, we joke about a lot of things there. And hopefully people don't take it personal because... They actually do like the nightshade guys. Yeah, they that. do. Just of course, Zach runs a site, so I'm not going to try to piss them <laughs> off. What do I know about technology today? Am I going to watch these videos? <laughs> Probably not. I will say, too, though, if anybody likes comics, uh, Tim's Corner Comics has mm -hmm. a ton. Yeah. And now he, has a, now he has a connection with what, with Walt Flanagan? Is I think it? so. Yeah. 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 Met him out in New York, so. Yeah. Good for they've them. got toys, they've got posters, they've got comic books galore, they've got... It's a cool place. Yeah. So much stuff. Yeah. See, then did we do anything after that? Or was that... No. Then, nope, all the way till today, till we, uh, our friend Scott Dalby left, and I gotta be honest, I was nervous, he's my freaking idol. I could tell you were a little nervous, yeah. actually. I don't know why, I don't first. know why, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like me and your idol been like me meeting Michael Jordan 20 years ago. I wouldn't know what to do. Scott, he just compared you to Michael Jordan. I'm just saying. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Yeah, you guys like it warmed up real quick, though. And then you guys kind of got into a good conversation. We did, yeah. He had a lot of stuff to share. I was really interested about his mutiny past. And uh, he won so many championships last year. And that summer tourney game I thought was the best one to watch. Yeah. I do want to see that one because I was busy being an artist during that one. Oh, or, or, oh our, coloring with Ellie. Yeah, uh, Ellie is so cute. Yeah, guys. yeah. So, All of his yeah. kids are cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. I was really appreciative. He came all the way down from Muscatine to see us. So it's quite the haul and quite the gas money. He did have yeah. to do that. So thank you, Sky, and good luck this week. So. That's a wrap. Are you looking for the tourney? No. I actually am. No, I really am. <laughs> right. I enjoy it. It's fun because you get to hang out with all your friends. You mm. get Stacy's walking tacos. Yeah. You get to watch you play. You get to watch you score keep. You had me at Stacy's walking tacos, but then maybe you lost me. <laughs> oh, Just looking, yeah, looking forward to seeing everybody like usual. The Smiths. Uh, 
take first class care of us like they always do. I love Jamie and Brendan and Laura and mm -hmm. the whole family and They're friends. Fun to hang out with. Yeah, so I'm very appreciative that they gave me the opportunity to be an attorney yet again. So, because like I said, you've seen the stuff on your page or if you browse it, do you? There's a lot of good players that are still looking even as of today. I was so. surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Just to Is be that just because so many teams couldn't make it in? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. They filled up so fast. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm excited for it. The weather looks absolutely perfect this weekend. So. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nice. Yeah. Thanks to the LeVax. Thanks to all the town, the town teams coming. And looking forward to Teriyaki Madness. Oh, yeah. We forget that they come. Oh, yeah. So, I guess that's about it. Unless you got anything there, coconuts. Well, if the Kaihuis mm -hmm. are watching, find us. I want to know how to pronounce your last name properly because we say it all the time. I'm guessing Kaihui. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my plea. That's it. All right. He's going to be a dad soon, too. I butchered a bunch of names besides theirs. So. You did. Yes. Bad, bad, bad. That's why <laughs> I hang out with the Smiths. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, they're both all good at hockey. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, that's a wrap. Good luck to everybody out there this weekend. I don't really mean that. Some of them. Everybody if I except play, those in D4 and D5. Yeah, yeah. If I'm playing you, yeah, I hope you're freaking miserable. I'm sorry. I hope you miss the post. <laughs> I hope you are bad. They probably think the same for me. Probably. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah, not seriously. All right, we'll see you out there. Thank you for following under the traffic lights. And Thank you for sticking with him all weekend. This is it. Probably tell the old playoff blog why it'll make me do or something. So, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, or maybe we'll do a wrap-up. We'll see. Yeah. Can we play any card game during the wrap-up? I got to check that shit out. It looks cool. All right, under <laughs> the traffic lights. All right, um, see you guys. Bye.